What's going on, guys? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap in collective. Let's see what's going on in your energy. What you need to know at this time, Archangel Michael and Alegua, please protect me as I channel this energy. Alegua. All right, so Alegua is an energy that deals with the material world. All right, Alegua deals with karma and Alegua deals with destiny. All right, um, he is a spirit that opens the road for you when you are having a, a, a streak of bad luck. He is also the one that may have put you through a season of bad luck. Because Legwa plays devil advocate. A Legwa wants you to do the right thing even when you're tempted. So he would put things on your path to tempt you in the worst ways. Because that's how he can trust you. Alright, so somebody's fate is changing. Somebody's destiny is changing. Somebody's life is changing. Somebody's luck is changing. This could be good luck and this could be bad. Remember, a legwa deals with the material world. A legwa deals with commerce. Um, a legwa deals with shops and internet and 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 trading. All right. So somebody's fate is changing. All right. Somebody's fate is changing. You might want to need to, you might want to need to ask for your roads to be open if you are feeling blocked. All right. You might also want to thank Alegua and your spiritual team for opening up some doors for you. So we'll see how is this going for you guys um, based off the next card. All right, theories and sifts. I forgot. I, um, it's theories. All right, and theories is communicators. They are messages from the divine coming down to earth. All right, so you've been getting a lot of downloads. You've been getting a lot of thoughts. You've been getting a lot of ideas. You've been getting a lot of communication in your head. All right, um, this is your spirit guides speaking with you. And communicating to you about something that's changing in your life. All right. This could have been phone calls, emails, word of mouth, thoughts, things that you are seeing. All right. But there's a lot of messages coming from your spirit gods. You could be even seeing butterflies a lot. You could be seeing like insects that has wings all right the eight of cups all right so I feel like a legua is testing you right now. All right. A leg is testing you when it comes to endings and how you handle detachment. Also, a leg might have opened a door for you or there may be an opportunity that is knocking on your door. But somebody is trying to prevent you. Somebody is trying to suck the life out of you. So that way you won't push forward and leave. You guys can also be being called to travel. Leave. Travel over a body of water. 
but something. I don't know if this is a lewa. I don't know if you are being stopped for a reason, or I don't know if this is a warning sign saying you have the opportunity to go. Right? A leg walk can open up the door for you, but a leg walk is not going to take your hand and guide you through that door. So if there is a door open for you, you need to be very mindful and observe what it is that is sucking you out of alignment. What it is that's sucking the life out of you so that way you feel depleted and you can't push forward. Also, there are many things that is trying to hold you back. Think about an octopus arms. The octopus have many arms. So before I say anything else, let me get another card. All right, the nine of swords. Somebody's trying to target you. Somebody is trying to forcefully, physically, mentally stop you from moving forward. This can even be physically, like trying to keep you hostage. These are rifles pointed at you so you might be even stuck in a fucked up situation where you might be in danger all right you might be in danger because somebody fears you leaving for good all right you might be in danger um you might even feel like you have people stalking you or watching you but with this eight of cups here, somebody is trying to stop you from many different ways. In many different ways. They are sending many different lines of communication to stop you. Many different peoples. But every arm or tentacle, whatever the fuck you want to call it, on an octopus, has suction cups that is so hard to detach from you. All right, there's so much people and outside influence that is trying to stop you from what you know to be true emotionally. All right, they don't want you to be right in your emotions. They don't want you to walk away. They don't want you to do that. All right, and it might be a situation where you might need to protect yourself. Like the nine of wands is feeling like you, your back is up against the wall. You're not giving up. But you need help. You need some type of spiritual assistance. That maybe a legwa is here for that. For that. All right. Maybe a legwa is teaching you a lesson about the people that you trust, so called trust, and that you have around you that is doing all of their all of they're doing everything in their willpower to prevent you from moving forward and to make you feel isolated and scared. They want you to feel alone. All right. So we're going to see why a leg wide is here. We're going to see why all of this stuff is here. All right. And we're going to get to the bottom of this collective. All right. Spirit, tell me why a leg wide is here. What is happening with the collective's work? Material possessions, material world, period, work, um, life, luck, right? What is a legwa here for? The Queen of Swords. Ooh. This Queen of Swords has been doing magic in a marriage or 
to keep a contract going? This is the enemy. Whoever the queen of swords is in your life, baby. This is the person that Alewa is telling you. You need to remove yourself from. Because their mouth, their communication, their thinking is getting you into a lot of shit. Their mouth has gotten you probably into shootouts. All right. Their mouth has gotten you in trouble. All right. I'm talking about like, like danger. Like you might have had to defend this queen of swords because of her mouth. And it could have really got ugly. All right. This person is queen of swords. They don't care what they say. When they get angry, they going to try to hurt you. All right. Literally. And I keep seeing that knife, the swords, the guns. All right. This person, you got to watch this person. All right. A leg wall, All right. Is trying to tell you that this person is two faced. This person has many different personalities and is the one that is deliberately stopping you from leaving. All right. This person has got you into, I'm just getting like this person has got you to so many problems, so many problems because of their mouth. You know how when somebody argue with a man and she'd be like, oh, I'm going to go get my brothers or I'm going to go get my man and don't realize that that shit could cause somebody their life. Not holding your tongue, the queen of swords could cause somebody their life because they are quick to speak on something and they don't know how to watch and pick their battles wisely. All right. This person don't give a fuck. This person just want everybody to know that they got people, they got goons, and they got this. And in and, and, and all reality, they are putting you in harm's way by defending them with some stupid shit. Whatever that they keep getting you in because of their mouth, it is bad. It is negative. All right? It is drama on a whole nother level. Physical, guns, knives, gangs, jail time. This person has, has my baby crying. This person has got you into too much shit. And a leg walk is telling you that the reason why these doors keep closing, because he keep closing them because you got this person around you. All right. A leg walk does not play. And as long as you got somebody around you that is deliberately holding you back and putting you in a line of fire when it comes to their mouth, your doors will never be open with a leg walk. All right, it's you better even be grateful that a leg wall is telling you all this for real. This person mouth needs to be shut closed. All right, this person got themselves into a lot of shit that they can't get out of. All right, and then want to call other people to get involved, knowing damn well that shit could go left. These are karmic energies that don't give a fuck. All right? This person plays with spell work. All right? This person calls on spirits to do something negative for you to get hell back. All right? And that's why Alegua out here because Alegua about to teach her ass a lesson to stop fucking with magic. And learn the real magic. And that's within you. Stop going to these priests. And priestesses. And tarot card readers. To try to look beyond somebody's future. Look beyond your future. Because it's not looking too bright. Getting people. And all of this chaos and confusion. All because of your mouth. Zip it. Because it's going to be zip. One way or another. A leg while not playing. All right, a label has been sending out many messages. Okay, when it comes to this person getting you into a lot of beef, a lot of beef, a lot of drama, a lot of shit that could cause you your life. Dead or in jail. And you know who gonna be out still talking? 
This one crying at your funeral. All right. This person is all bad. All bad. This person is not a prophet of God. This person was working with the man downstairs and being a false prophet. Saying that their magic and whatever that they doing was, was of God. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. And they probably were so far gone in their head that they probably even believed the spell work that they was doing was, was justified. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. This person was trying to alter you leaving for good by spell work and priests and tarot card readings and low vibrational energy, baby. All right. This person wanted you to be attached to them. They didn't want you to get out of that contract. All right. So, yeah, this whoever that queen of swords is, it's their mouth. And their mouth, again, got you into a lot of shit. All right. Where you probably couldn't even move out of certain shit. All right. You probably physically got hurt a couple of times. All right. All about this mouth and then doing spell work to try to clean up the bullshit. And this is right under Alegua. All right. Alegua does play devil advocate. Alegua is that man downstairs. All right. That'll show you why you should never play these, play these games like this when it comes to holding people back against their free will. This person was trying to hold you against your free will through spell work, through their mouth. All right. Making you burn bridges with everybody. So that way you be stuck with her. Child, run. Run away from this energy. Run as fast as you can. All right? Be the gingerbread man. Because this person is going to wind up having you unalive for some bullshit. All right? And literally, I just turned this back around. All right? Because I wanted to go upright. But it was in reverse. They'll fuck around and have you dead or in jail because of some bullshit, because of some misinformation that they spreading, because of gossiping and speaking on people names that they shouldn't be speaking on. And then when somebody knocked them upside their head, they want to go and call somebody else to be involved in a drama. All right. Everything's blowing up in their face. All they lies, everything. Spirit, tell me what is these theories about? What is these fairies, spirit? Death. All right? This person got the spirit of death upon them. I ain't lying. This spirit got, a, got the spirit of death upon them because they thought that they wasn't being seen and Allegua seen everything. Allegua does play the motherfucking devil. That's why he's called the trickster. You don't know if he's fucking God or the devil. All right? That's not for you to know. For you to know is to keep your commitments and be good. Even when motherfuckers is not looking. You thought you were slick. You thought you were slick. All the messages you've been trying to send to the divine to get this karma off of you is dead. All right? They not answering. Allegra not stupid. Allegra is not stupid. He's the one who sends in the corruption to test you, okay? To test you, all right? Your word is not good no more, all right? Whatever you've been communicating, whatever you've been conjuring up, all right? You done conjured up a spirit of death. And this can manifest in some major endings, guys. When I tell you major endings, all right? Major endings, all right? And possible death. Or this person could have been experiencing a lot of death in their family. All right. That's the message that is being sent out. Death. That is the message that's being sent out. Bodies, theories, bodies, angels, bodies, deities, death. Stop playing with the wrong people. Because now you done got, got into something where you can't get yourself out of. Spirit, give me more on this death. What is this death that's being communicated? All right, work. When I tell you their career is finished, when I tell you any projects that they were trying to manifest is finished, when I tell you that their income in every way is finished, all right, 
It is done. It is over. Anything that they was building, anything that they was working towards, anything that they was expecting as a material gain, as work, as resources is completely over. I'm hearing they done paid for the wrong work. They done paid somebody for the wrong work. And now they done, they out of a job. They out of a career. They out of their security and foundation in life. And that's how God will hit you in the material world. That's how a leg will hit you. Thank you, spirit. That is how a leg is hitting this queen of swords through their work. They're not able to manifest shit. They are not able to borrow shit. They are not able to have any type of resource or any door open for them. When I tell you a legwa deals with endings and opening up your new beginnings, all right, you got to petition a legwa for your road to be open, your fate, your destiny, all right, which way you going? And right now, all right, a legwa is hitting somebody in the material part of life. But that's what he do, all right? So, Spirit, give me more on this Eight of Cups energy. This is what this person was trying to do. Suck the life out of you through many different people, through many different forms, through many different spell work. All right. This person was a shapeshifter. They were trying to literally look, trying to swallow you whole so you won't go. Okay. Literally. Spirit, give me more on this um, eight of cups, please. Hold on, y'all. I'm over here. Give me more on this Eight of Cups for the collectors, please. Thank you. Eight of Cups to the Eight of Cups. Oh, my gosh. The Eight of Cups to the Eight of Cups. You couldn't be stopped. They try to stop you with transportation. So think about the boat like your car. Think about the boat like your ID. Think about the boat like a plane ticket or or a, a passport. That's what that is. So they try to take a resource from you so that way you won't be mobile or you won't be able to trans transmute or transport from one place to another. But you said, since you want to do that, since you want to play like this and take the resource that I have to get around, bitch, I'm a walk. <laughs> The fuck? That's why we got two legs, oh? We gonna walk this thing out, all right? We gonna walk this thing out. Take your car, bum-ass car. Take your house, no house. Take whatever you try to take to hold me back. Take it, because, bitch, the collective was born with two motherfucking feet and for your ass to kick rocks, okay? They tried to literally stop you with a resource for you to actually transition, for you to actually transport yourself from A to B. Okay, they fuck around and probably even try to do something to your motherfucking legs. You hear me, but that shit ain't work. All right, you said you want to take that? You want to take that resource away? Have it, have it, because it's looking like it's about to sink anyway. Have it, all right? You said my, my legs work, okay? My legs work just fine. The eight of cups to the eight of cups. Nothing was going to stop this. Nothing was going to stop you guys from going. And that's on grandson. Spirit, tell me more about this nine of swords. This person, and if you notice, nobody else came out. No other court card came out. It's that queen of swords. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or embodying that confrontational energy when it comes to being challenged by authority. When it comes to being challenged by somebody else. All right. They literally probably got you in shootouts and shit. That's what I'm seeing with this card. Literally coming to protect them, you wind up getting booked or you wind up getting held up, a sign like that, all because of their mouth. Run far away from this person. Far. Well, it looked like you did that anyway. All right. Queen of Wands in reverse. So you got two motherfuckers. All right. You got a queen of swords and a queen of wands. All right. When I tell you they was doing everything in the power, one, one time to try to stop you with your vehicle or something that you used as a resource to move. All right. And then the other one 
definitely try to get you just in, in lot up danger. Okay. This Queen of Wands was doing a lot of spell work. You hear me? That was unfucking successful. <laughs> you hear me? Two peas in a motherfucking pod. <laughs> All right. Talking about they profits. Prophets where? These two souls were false prophets. Two, both of them. Both of them. All right. Don't let these people with this title of Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, arrogant and, and feel like they justified. No. No. So, Spirit, what is, what is the connection between the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords? What is the connection? How are they connected? Huh. They connected because they both going through the same ending. They are connected because they are both getting the boot from somebody. This could even been a third party relationship or co-workers, but they are both. How they are connected is because they are both going through the same ending, the same ending. So they could be relatives. They could be friends. They could be family members. They could be something, but they're both going through a major karmic ending. All right. A major karmic ending. What is the comic ending about, Spirit? What is this comic ending? Oh, bitch. It is over. All right. I don't know what has came to an end. But when I tell you it is done for them in the material world, I told y'all, Alegua do not play. All right, all of the lies, all of the spell work, all of the deceitful acts that they thought that they was getting away from because nobody seen them. Well, bitch, a leg boy seen it. And when I tell you, the world card is you entering the material world after learning all of the life lessons needed to live abundant. Maybe it is over. And that is how they connected both of them. Both of these people is shot when it comes to any material assets in this lifetime, in this world. And that is how a leg was set up. All right, so I love you guys and I hope that helps.